Hello, everyone. I was in the room meeting. I was waiting there by myself, wondering where everyone was. Always great. Just going to wait a couple more minutes and then uh, we can probably get started. <clears throat> I think we can get started. Um, let me just see, it's already recording. So I assume that's now automatically being done. I'm actually not sure, but nah, let's just assume so, that's fine. Um, let me just share my screen. There we go. Just have to get rid of the zoom bar. It's always nice. <clears throat> um, yeah. All right. Um, welcome everyone to the Aries Framework JavaScript work of uh, weekly working group call. Um, just as a reminder, we have a, a code of conduct that we have to abide to and an answer just policy. Um, anyone that is not already in the attendance list, which is just me, uh, feel, feel free to add yourself so other people know that uh, you are here. And if there are any questions during this meeting, they can reach out to you directly. Um, let's see, is there anyone new who would like to introduce themselves in this uh, small group? No, okay, that's fine. Um, I think we can quickly go over the status updates and see if there's anything going on there. Um, does anyone know if there was a bifold meeting this week? <clears throat> I guess not. Um, I think this PR uh, team is working on right now, which is supposed to add the shared components to uh, Bifold. Um, I think there's one issue still open with the migration script where it doesn't, uh, it can migrate it, but afterwards the SCAR database is in an invalid state. So there's something small we have to fix there, um, but I, I think Timo told me that otherwise it's uh, basically ready to go. Um, so just one more small fix and then this is ready for review, uh, which is very nice. Um, did anyone attend the Aries call? Um, I was there, but maybe someone else was also there. Uh, I was and uh... They talked about uh, the open ID for VC. So if if you were there, you you probably have seen that one. Yeah. So I think Karim gave a really nice overview of the work that you guys have been working on. 
it's open ID for VC. So if you got, uh, it's recorded, I think you guys should check it out if you're interested. Definitely, it's uh, quite like the presentation because I've been looking at the open ID stuff myself as well for some some other things, and it's 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 very confusing, especially if you come from like a complete ditcom world. It's so many like different terms, and it's all adjusted to the generic OAuth flow, which makes a lot of sense, but it's, it's, it's can be quite confusing. I uh, definitely recommend to, to watch that if you're interested in it. And you also gave a nice presentation about some OCA um, like pre preview tool, I guess. I yeah, know. so we're, I'm calling it the Explorer, but effectively it's, it's just a way for you to visualize OCA uh, but, uh, branding on top of a credential. So effectively what it does is if you pass in a, uh, an OCA bundle uh, into this application, you'll be able to display uh, what the credentials would look like. And then you can actually go and play around with some of the branding. So you can change the colors, you can change the, uh, the attributes uh, that are displayed and you can see what it would look like. So um, it's kind of a cool tool for, for business use cases, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks quite nice. And I think if it's, <clears throat> Like host it, and if you have like if you really use OCAs for for something, then it's a extremely useful tool. Yeah, I, can, uh... I think always a bit difficult, I guess, to to visualize if you just have a like a JSON object or something with some colors in there. Yeah, I can uh, post the I'll post the link to where it's hosted. It's hosted in a GitHub page right now, so it's really easy to access. Okay, nice. Thank you. Um, we. Have some couple new releases for AFJ and Alpha uh, <clears throat> on Alpha. Don't really think we have anything to to say about that. Um, this config too. I don't know if Lance is here. I don't think so. Um, I don't think that there is anything about that that we can update then. Um, shared components. Yeah, work has just been. Uh, keep in, well, we have kept working on it uh, for for a while now. Just I think uh, Anocrats uh, is still like being updated with some some small things. I have a couple of PRs to to do a lot of cleanup because there was still some uh, code left over from uh, Indie Shredder S uh, and SCAR and VDR are quite um, yeah they're quite why it's right now not really a lot of things going on right there in the JavaScript wrapper. Um, SCAR 028 is released. Um, so we just have to create a stable release for the Reignite and Node.js side. And then we have a uh, fully working SCAR uh, wrapper, which is very nice. I'll just quickly add your link. There we go. Um, all right, this is just a meeting notes from last week uh, uh, where I, I wasn't there. Uh, so I, maybe we can discuss that quickly or if no one else is there, then can go over it. Um, yes, revocation support is, uh, well, at least in the wrapper, it's 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 there. Uh, the Anacris wrapper and um, in the VDR as well. Um, AFJ support, I think, is still just the holder side and not necessarily the issuer so only holder and verifier if uh if i'm i hope i'm correct there but i think uh, timo or ariel would know that better than me um so hopefully that answers your question um no problem uh let's see what was anyone at the last week's call because i i wasn't there um if there's anything we have to discuss from that Okay, okay. Um, does anyone have any agenda points um, for this meeting? Because otherwise it might be a, a nice and short <laughs> meeting for this one. Okay, no points. 
Um, I think, yeah, just have to <laughs> figure out then what we can talk about because I also don't really have any uh, major points to discuss. Um, anyone has a PR open that they would like to talk about and we can go over that. Um, I think maybe the discussion on the 04 release, can check that quickly. These are all actually done, as it seems. And this one is not being picked up. Closed. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're <laughs> extremely close to a 040 release. Uh, I think we're, from my side at least, just waiting on the shared components until those are stable, uh, stably released. Uh, integrate them um, and then I think as, uh, if it works in bifold with uh, all the features that we've added we can do a 0 for zero release and everyone can uh, try it out in a stable version um, are there any people that already use the 0 for zero uh, alpha stuff with like the new apis for uh, modules and everything because I was quite curious um, with how people felt about it, because now it's, I would say it's a bit, on one side, it's a bit easier, um, the new API with the modules, but then on the other side, it, get, it can get quite bloated, like with registering all the credential formats and services. Um, so I was curious if anyone has used it already, um, um, maybe some feedback points or something. I haven't used it personally. Um, I know that they're still working on figuring out support in Bifold uh, for mm -hmm. lower versions of Android. So it's it's a bit of a, a, a work in progress. Although Karim did show me the registration. And I think you're right, there's a trade-off, but you get more modularity, which is awesome um, because you're not having to use the entire framework if you don't need it. So I think for now it works. Uh, it's a bit of upfront cost, but then that means that you get a smaller build when you need it. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's also like the main reason why why we did it. Um, so we know this, I think, with the BBS library that we started to add more native dependencies. Um, and some of them, most people didn't even need. Like the India SDK was kind of unavoidable because AFJ before without the India SDK was, man, it was nothing. Um, and then yeah, BBS is not something that everyone wants to use, but they do have to like import like a whole native library, which on React Native, like they can stack up and your app becomes quite big. Um, so yeah, I, I think that that's, that is a very good point. Like if we, if we have such a small core, then if you only need like a couple of things, for example, if you only need like a, uh, an agent that can send messages. So you want to make like a chat app and you have no support for credentials or, or anything complex, then you can just have like an agent with maybe some Ditcom things and like a, an SCAR storage and you're done, which would make your app uh, quite a bit smaller if you don't need like Ano creds and the VDR and in the SDK and the BBS signatures. Um, one thing that I would like to take a look at maybe in the future somewhere is to see if we can create like bundles of uh, modules because uh, I think it, especially if you like want to start working with AFJ and you're you're new to the, the framework it can be quite daunting if you have to set everything up to to issue a credential and then if you can just I don't know we we have some package in the extensions repo and there we could have like a just an object that would export all the different uh, modules that you would need to to issue a, a Anocrest credential. And if we do it like that, then the guides and everything, it would be very simple to get to get started with. Um, but you would still allow like the uh, more like the the more knowledge to users to configure it exactly how you would like it, uh, which has a lot of value, of course. So that might be something we we, we might be able to take a look at. Um, 
API is. All right. Um, I don't think we have any PRs to discuss it as well. Um, I don't think that anyone here with an open is here with an open PR. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I I think it will just be actually an extremely short meeting, um, unless like anyone has has anything to add to the agenda. Like now, um, I'm okay with cutting it short. Um, I don't think we have to sit here for another forty minutes. Uh, yeah, not really discussing anything. Uh, but if someone has something, then please please say so, and we can we can talk about that. All right, then I think we might have a record for the shortest AFJ meeting uh, of all time, which is, I guess, also kind of impressive in some way. Uh, I think Timo should be here next, next week again, so I'm sure he will fill up the next meeting for an hour again. Um, but yeah, I think we can just, uh, yeah, just, just wrap it up and uh, I'll see you all I think next week then uh, with the next meeting. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.